First question is from La Flinsta. How much more progress can be made with four gym sessions per week versus three full body workouts a week? Okay, so oh, like more this. is not mm, always yes. better. What? The right dose is what's going to be best for you. And the right dose is dependent on your own individual context and your body and your training experience. Most average people will get best results with about three full body workouts a week. If you're pretty consistent, uh, you've been working out for a little while, that fourth day, I think you could throw in mobility or some trigger sessions. You'd be fine. Or maybe do an upper lower split. But honestly, more is not always better. Sometimes it is, but oftentimes it's not. You can get a lot done with three days a week. Well, I'm going to go further and say most times it's not. It's actually very rare that I, I meet a client that um, four days a week of them in the gym is going to be better for them than doing a three-day a week full body routine. Other than the only other exception that I feel is the the people that have already built a consistent routine of like, oh, this is my one hour every single day I go to the gym or I exercise. And so in that case, I would still structure them a three day a week strength training, full body type of routine. And then I would encourage mobility and yoga and walks on the other days and say, okay, still go to the gym. Yeah. So, you know, you can go to the gym four five, six, seven days a week and it'd be extremely beneficial, but a four day uh, split type of routine versus a three day full body. I have found in my experience that more people have benefited from the three day than the four day a week. Now, there are exceptions to the rule, of course, I've, and when I'm te uh, coaching competitors, yeah, many of them are training in the gym, but we're talking about high-level athletes that are getting on stage and competing yeah. and been training for a long time. The general population, most of them do much no. better here. Well, and two, like if you keep it within that three-day structure, uh, you can ramp up intensity. You can mess with the different acute variables uh, within that framework, which also, too, I think people just – like just forget all about the recovery process. Like that's a huge part of your success in terms of being able to adequately recover and then adapt and then, you know, gain muscle. All that is a vital part of the process. So uh, to have that structure, it's just, it's a nice balanced structure, that three day a week schedule, adding another one. I mean, yeah, you could kind of like uh, change your focus a bit in the gym or, you know, if you add it like six days a week, but you'd have to make sure that the majority of, of the hard foundational type workouts were, you know, adequately spaced out. Yeah. You know, I, I, I along those lines, I think it's great to be active every single day. I think it's For sure. great to do something every single day. But when we're talking about structured, you know, resistance training, uh, you know, which is geared towards building strength, building muscle, there's a certain level of intensity, right? Three days a week is ideal for most people. Now, again, you can be active all those other days. You could do things like trigger sessions or mobility work or walking, or if you like, if you're into sport, you could do other sport type activity. But, you know, more than three days a week of actual resistance training, I think is should be reserved for people who are really advanced, who've got great recovery. Um, and if that's you, if you've been working out for a year or two consistently and you want to add a fourth day of real, you know, traditional resistance training, I think that's totally fine. But uh, you're not going to get, you're not gonna, at some point there's diminishing returns. At some point you'll add an extra day and you'll get a little bit of benefit. You add an extra day and you start to get negative benefit. I mean, when Doug hired me, he wore, he did two full body workouts a week for I think two years before he even moved to a third day. And then well, he did that for like a couple of years before moving on to more. Well, I'm mm -hmm. glad you brought him up because he wasn't a, a beginner lifter either. No. He was, and because I was just going to say after you said that about reserve for advance, I'd say I'd proceed with caution even if you're advanced. This was one of the most pivotal moments in my training career. I'd already been training for almost a decade yeah. before this came together for me. I was six days, seven day a week. And I remember dropping yeah. down to three. It blew my mind. I was in the gym half as much lifting weights and my body was progressing faster than it ever had in the previous five to seven years. So uh, it, more is just not more. You just, you think that the more you hammer the weights and you hit it, the better your results are going to be. It's just not true. And I would say more often than not, it isn't. So I always start with less. Start with less, see how much you can accomplish with that and then build upon that. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.